In late 2015, I believe it was, Archbishop Dearman Martin here in Dublin uh, called Father Jenkins' office and said, we have this church that's a very important church uh, right in the heart of Dublin here on St. Stephen's Green. And um, we've had a kind of succession of pastors and no one lives in the parish anymore. We'd like to give it some more attention that it's due now that we've just had under Pope Benedict, uh, Blessed John Henry Newman, who built this church, was beatified. They wanted to make sure that this church um, fulfilled its legacy uh, at the heart of Dublin's Catholicism. Those who follow Ireland know that the uh, Irish Catholic Church, which was such a dominant feature of life in that country, has, has had some very difficult years uh, in recent years. If we are to realize all that we hope for through the Notre Dame Newman Center for Faith and Reason, we will successfully reach out to young people in Ireland and re-engage them in the conversation around why does faith matter. Notre Dame is an institution that makes the dialogue between faith and reason really, that's what we do. That's the central to our life. And I think Archbishop Martin felt that perhaps we could help provide leaven in that dough, provide uh, something to, to encourage that conversation among uh, a society that uh, is doing well in so many ways, and, uh, but perhaps needs to address those questions in a new way at this time. So we're happy to be part of that uh, effort. So one of the really great things about being in Dublin is that you're surrounded by great musicians, uh, singers, organists, ill and pipe players, Irish harp, and um, the challenge was that here, they didn't come into church all that often. There was all kinds of music going on in Dublin, but not too much of it was happening here within the walls of Newman Church. So one of the things that was a challenge and actually a great joy right from the start was to start to meet all these new enthusiastic musicians. So to have this become a nexus, a meeting place for all this great talent, and to put it at the service of the worship of God was a great thing to do. The University of Notre Dame brings 175 years of confidence that somehow we have something to say in this conversation around faith and reason. And we go to Ireland with all humility, having been invited by the Archbishop, who, who has invited us in just for that. He knows that Notre Dame um, does well in its outreach and its formation and education of young people. And we hope to do some of that uh, through the new Center.